when they come on operations also we have three types not or as well as add these are the three basic operation in logic gates we can able to perform nand as well as nor gate or call it as universal gate because by using that we can able to construct all the basic gates output you have to generate and or not all the three have to generate and gate or gate as well as not gate all the three you have to generate by using the symbol of nand gate only Welcome back to one and all. Myself Vasanta, lecturer in computer science, Vidya Shrim, Pre University College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Today we are going to start with the revision class on logic gates chapter. Whereas in the annual exam, from this chapter you will get four marks. Whereas in part A you will get one question for one marks, as well as in part C you will get one question for three marks. Totally two questions you will get from this chapter, but total weightage will be three marks from this chapter because one marks one question as well as three marks one question. Whereas on this chapter you will come to know regarding what do you mean by gate, basic gates, derived gates, then how to write the symbol, true table, then what do you mean by universal gate how to prove the universal gate these are the major question from this chapter you may expect that is what do you mean by logic gate basic gates and derived gates under the classification of derived gates then what do you mean by universal gate that is nand and nor gates are called it as universal gate then how to prove this as a universal gate regarding that you will study whereas in this most expected question is what is logic gate this is a one mask question whereas here it is an electronic circuit it is an electronic circuit which operates on one or more input signal and always produces an output signal is call it as logic gate it means that just an electronic circuit it takes one or more input signal but after processing it will generate only one output signal compulsory output process should be one only where input may be one or more than one also then when the come on mention different types of logic gates under that there are two types one is basic gate and one more is derived gate there are two types of gates one is basic gates and one more is derived gate mention three basic logic gates when you come on basic logic gates because when you come on gates we have two types one is basic gates and one more is derived gate whereas under basic gates we have and gate or gate and one more is not gate when you come on derived gate there we have nand gate then nor gate xor gate then x nor gate these are the few derived gate whereas here mention the three basic gates then you have to list and or not gate are the basic gates but in the exam if you get the question which are the derived gates then nand nor xor as well as x nor are the derived gates in the exam if you get the question which are the three logic operations when they come on operations also we have three types not or as well as and these are the three basic operation in logic gates we can able to perform whereas next question what is inverter whereas not gate is also called as inverter gate because it just reverse the input whatever input you are given the output will be reverse of your input whereas here to perform that maximum itself only one input you can take for example x if is the input then here this is a symbol you have to write one triangle then at the end one circle and then one line if x is the input then x bar is the output it just a reverse of your input if it is input is 1 then output is 0 if input is 0 then output is 1 here it just a reverse of your input in the exam you may expect one more question on this what is the another name for not gate whereas the another name for not gate is inverter gate whereas a gate with only one input signal 
only one input signal and one output signal, only one output we are getting. But the output state is always opposite of input state is called as inverter or not gate. Now is it clear? Next we'll move on the next one that is write the standard symbol for NOR gate. There it is a combination of OR as well as NOT gate. Already I told you in basic gates we have in basic gates we have AND OR as well as NOT. When they come on derived gates there when they come on NAND gate NAND is a combination of NOT as well as AND gate. If you come on NOR gate, that is a combination of NOT gate as well as OR gate. Whereas usually here write the symbol or standard symbol for NOR gate, then first you have to write the NOR gate. Minimum two inputs for example A and B. Here we will curve this in the C format we will write, then we will connect this two. If I am going to write like this, then it is a OR gate. Then here, if you write one triangle and then a circle and then line, then it can be called as NOR gate. That is, if you want, you can write the symbol like this way or if you want, you can write the symbol like this way. Whereas here, when you come on this circuit, then the output become A plus B. Once it is passed from here, A plus B whole bar we have. This is a standard symbol for NOR gate. It is a combination of NOT as well as OR gate. Now is it clear? Next one, write the true table for NAND gate. Whereas already I told you when you come on NAND gate, it is a combination of NOT gate and AND gate. If you want, you can write directly the NAND gate output. If you get confused, then here minimum two inputs you can take. For example, X and then one more is Y. Two com four combination double zero, double one, zero one, zero one. But here they said that write the truth table for NAND gate. Then first find out AND gate. In AND gate, when the output is one, when all the inputs are one, then only the output become one. And means this and this and this, each and everything has to be satisfied. Here zero into zero, then output becomes zero. Zero into one, zero. One into zero, zero. One into one, one. Whereas NAND is the given, then once again, here this can be called as, if I'm going to take X and Y, X into Y is the combination. When I complement this x into y whole bar, then here whatever column we have just reverse that triple one then zero. If you want, you can write the output directly like this way, or first find out x into y, then find out x into y whole bar. That is a truth table for NAND gate. Now is it clear? Next we will move on what is meant by universal gate. When you come on universal gate is a gate using which all basic gates can be constructed. Whereas in basic gates we have AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate. All the three gates we can able to construct here. That is by using NAND gate as well as NOR gate we can able to construct all the three and or as well as not. In the same way by using nor also we can able to construct or gate and gate as well as not gate. That's why these two can be called as universal gate. Universal gate using which all basic gates can be designed is called as universal gate. NAND as well as nor gate or call it as universal gate because by using that we can able to construct all the basic gates. Next question, write the truth table and standard symbol of AND gate. First they given write the truth table and standard symbol for AND gate. Here this is the truth table. Already I told you two variables if you want you can give or three variables also you can consider because in the question they not specifically mentioned whether it's for two variable or for three variables. Then here x and y will take double zero double one zero one zero one. 
x into y when I go to take, then in multiplication format, the output is 1 only when all the inputs are 1. Here 0 into 0, 0, 0 into 1 is 0, 1 into 0 is 0, 1 into 1 is 1. When all the inputs are 1, then only the output become 1 here. Then when the common symbol, this is a standard symbol we are using to represent AND gate. Whereas if it is OR gate, then minimum two inputs will be required, then reverse C shape and then we'll connect these two. This is OR gate symbol. Whereas for AND gate, minimum two inputs, here compulsory D shape and then we have to connect. This is the AND gate symbol and this is the OR gate symbol. If you want to consider for two variables as well as for three variables. The AND gate can have two or more input signals. Whereas only NOT gate have only one input signal, maximum itself only one input signal. Whereas in remaining all, minimum itself two input signals were required and produces one output signal. Minimum two input signal and it produces one output signal. When all the inputs are 1, then the output is 1, otherwise output is 0. When all the inputs are 1, then output become 1, otherwise here it is 0. This is the symbol and this is the truth table. In the question, if they mention, write down the symbol and truth table for three variables, then compulsory you have to write the symbol and truth table for three variables. Whereas this is a symbol for two variables. In the question, if you get for three variable, then minimum three inputs you have to take. For example, A, B, C, then here D shape, connect this. This is a symbol for three variables. Then if you want to write the truth table for three variables, then two to the power of n. That is here, if it is two variables, then four combinations we are getting. If it is three variable, then two into two into Two, that is totally eight combinations we will get that is four zeros four one you have to write now is it clear next one define universal gate write the truth table and standard symbol of NAND gate once again here a gate using which all basic gates can be designed it is called as universal gate by using that all basic gates can be constructed and here there's a standard symbol to represent NAND gate and this is the truth table for NAND gate. Because in the question they are given that, write the truth table and standard symbol of NAND gate. Now is it clear? Next one, draw the logic gate diagram to implement AND or NOT gate using NAND gate only or realize and or not gate using NAND gate. It means that compulsory here you have to use NAND gate symbol only. And output you have to generate and or not. All the three you have to generate AND gate, OR gate as well as NOT gate. All the three you have to generate by using the symbol of NAND gate only. Whereas if you come on NAND gate symbol then minimum it requires two inputs. Then here we'll take two inputs, then here D shape, then at the end it write one circle and then one line. This is a standard symbol compulsory I have to use here. Whereas here, first one, here I will take X and Y. When I pass on this, on this circuit, then X into Y whole bar we are getting. Then here, whatever output we have that we are connecting to, another NAND gate but NAND gate requires minimum two input that's why here we will divide that into once again two parts then once again if the output of the first one is passed with the second one then here we are going to get x into y whole bar is the input once again this passes from here then this will double bar will cancel then the output become x into y that is nothing but from this I can able to find AND gate and get output we can get and here if you observe the, this diagram on this what happens first we have x and y separately we will take in NAND gate symbol then there is a x and there is a y here when it is passed to NAND gate then here once again we will divide that one input to two input then here the value will be x bar once it pass here then here the value will be y bar 
then once again here it will pass us to this circuit then we are getting the result x plus y then this is nothing but our gate output we can able to get it means that here i can get and gate result and here i can able to get r gate result whereas for not gate the maximum input itself here we required only one that's why here we are taking one and we are dividing into two parts because NAND gate requires minimum two inputs. Then F is the input, then X bar is the output. Then this is nothing but NOT gate. It means that by using only NAND gate symbols, I can able to get AND gate, OR gate as well as NOT gate. So many times they ask this question in the final exam because here the major question for three marks Prove NAND gate is universal gate, prove NOR gate is universal gate, or write the basic gate symbol and truth table like that. You may get the question. Next one, draw the logic gate diagram to implement AND or NOT. Here also we have to prove AND or NOT gate using NOR gate only. Whereas in the previous case by using NAND gate, whereas now by using NOR gate only. That is realize AND or NOT gate using NOR gate symbols especially. For NOR gate, the standard symbol we required, the minimum itself two inputs we required. For example, X and Y here will take, then here compulsory you have to curve that, then connect these two and here at the end you have to write one circle and then one line. This is the standard symbol we have to use in this NOR gate. Then here first we will take the NOR gate symbol, only x separately we will take, then the output become here x bar we are getting and here y bar we are getting. Once again when it is passes to NOR gate symbol, then here we are getting x into y. x into y is nothing but here and gate output we are getting. And in the same way, to get the result of OR gate, once again, we'll take X and Y, then once it is passed to this circuit, then X plus Y whole bar we are getting. Once again, if the same output from this first one, when it is passes with the second one, then here X plus Y we are getting. Because X plus Y is the input, once again it is passes from this, then double bar we are getting, the double bar will cancel, then the result we are getting X plus Y. That is nothing but OR gate output. It means that we can able to construct AND gate by using NOR gate. We can able to construct OR gate using NOR gate. And the next one is here only one input we are taking X. Then we are divide that into two parts. Then once it is passes from here X bar we are getting. Then here it is like NOT gate symbol. It means that by using NOR gate only we can able to construct all the three gates, basic gates, that is AND or NOT. Now is it clear? Then on this chapter, you have started regarding what you mean by basic gates, how to write the symbol and truth table for that, AND gate, OR gate as well as NOT gate. With that, what do you mean by derived gate? Whereas under derived gate, you have the gates like, for example, NAND, NOR, XOR, XNOR, how to write the symbol and truth table for two variable as well as for three variables. Then with that one more question you may going to expect from this chapter that is regarding universal gate. Whereas universal gate means by using basic gates can be constructed like AND or NOT. NAND as well as NOR, these two are called it as universal gates. Then proof also you may going to expect in the final exam. These are the major question from this chapter you may expect. Whereas in the next session, you will come to know regarding what do you mean by data structure? How to write the algorithm to perform the operations? As well as on that chapter, especially on data structure, the total weightage of the chapter, then which are the major versions you will get from that chapter. Because on that chapter, you are not going to get any program. The major questions are algorithms only. Because in part D, you will get two questions from data structure that majority of the time you will not expect the algorithms or memory representation. Next class, we'll meet you once again with a new chapter. Thank you for all of you.